Hi, let's take a quick look at the Caspio extension AI-powered GPT Connect. This extension integrates the power of AI directly into your Caspio applications. With this extension, you can create dynamic AI prompts using fields from your tables, which are then sent to an open AI large language model to receive a response that you can store in a designated field. This process can be triggered whenever data is inserted or updated. Let's see it in action. In my first example, I have a contact us form where users can enter their contact information, including the company name. Upon submission, using GPT Connect, we can automatically retrieve additional information about that company, such as its description, annual revenue, number of employees, and more. Depending on the number of fields you're updating, it could take a few seconds for the responses to come in. Let's see how it's configured. In my table design, there's a company name field and several other fields where I want GPT Connect to add data. To set this up, go to the Integrations tab, install AI Power GPT Connect, open it, and start creating your actions. I've already configured a few actions for today's examples, but let's go over how to set it up. In the right panel, you'll see three steps. First, provide the name for your action. For example, generate company description. Next, we want to select the data source table to monitor and an event that will trigger the action. In the second step, we'll want to configure our request. Here's where you want to set up your prompt for GPT Connect. A prompt is a set of specific instructions sent to GPT Connect to generate a response. For instance, if you want GPT Connect to return the company description, whenever a user submits the company name, specify that in your prompt. It's important to include the company name field in your prompt, so be sure to use the insert button to add that field as a parameter. You will want to continue fine tuning your prompts until a desired response is achieved. For example, you can tailor the response, such as limiting the description to 200 characters, or perhaps translating it to another language. In the last step, choose the field where you want the response to be sent and hit create. To update multiple fields in the same table, you can either create multiple actions as I have in my example, or create a single action and ask GPT Connect to return multiple responses and store them as comma separated values within brackets. You can then use triggered actions to parse the data into separate fields. Let's look at another example. Suppose we're working with the expense report where users upload receipts. With GPT Connect, we can extract information from the images and automatically update the relevant fields in your database. Here's how to set it up. In the extensions, let's create a new action. Same as in the earlier example, let's provide a name for our action. For example, capture the total amount from the receipt. Select your data source table and choose the event that will trigger the action. Next, add your prompt inside the prompt field. Notice how I said insert only the amount into the field. Sometimes unwanted labels or text will be added to your table, so it's important to be as specific as possible with your prompts. In my previous example, we added our text field directly into the prompt using the insert button. For image fields, however, you'll want to select them from the drop down below. Lastly, select the field where you want the response to be sent. If you wish to grab additional information from the receipt and populate that information into the same table, you'll need to create separate actions. Once configured correctly, each time the receipt is uploaded, GPT will extract the information and add that response to the correct field. For my last example, I'd like to show you how you can create a prompt to have GPT Connect analyze a support ticket and provide a user sentiment. In the configuration screen, you'll see that I'm prompting GPT Connect to analyze both the title and description of the ticket and to categorize a response as positive, neutral, or negative. This is a great way to gauge the mood of the user, allowing you to tailor your responses more effectively. This not only improves the user experience, but also helps in prioritizing tickets based on urgency or sentiment. This concludes the video on extensions. We're excited to see what you'll create. 
For more information about Caspio extensions, check out our online help at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.